Hi Cancer, this is your reading for September. So let's have a look. The Chariot, Ten of Swords reversed, and the Eight of Wands. So let's have a look what the first card says. The Chariot. In September, you will be driven and focused. You know what you want, what to do, and which path to take. You will feel empowered, which is reflected in the crown that the chariot driver wears. If you're looking for work or you want to want a career change this month, then this card tells you that you will find what you're looking for. Just keep going and have faith in yourself. You're in the flow, which is suggested by the river that is behind, running behind the chariot. You feel driven, but it could also mean that you're going on a longer road trip. You are going to be determined and persistent and won't let anything get in your way, which is also symbolized by the square in the tunic that stands for willpower and spiritual transformation. Although you are, your health is robust, it might be the perfect time now to start an exercise plan or a diet. You could also use that determination to stop any bad habits. If you smoke, for example, or if you exercise too much, because now you have the strength and the willpower so that you can resolve to see things through. But remember, no shortcuts. You need to be disciplined. If you're looking for a partner at the moment, your determination is a good indicator that you're going to succeed because you're actually in the right mindset. You know what you want. You are not wasting your time with people who are not fulfill or who are not potential to fulfill your goal and you will actually pick the right people. You can also see that by the upright position of the man who drives the chariot, he is doing that without holding the reins. He's controlling where he's going by using his sheer determination and willpower. So just like that, you know what it is you want and you will go for it in, 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 a, in a potential partner. The one thing you need to do is to control yourself. On one side, you could use this power and passion to motivate others and gather their support. On the other side, you need to be careful that you don't become a force to be reckoned with. There's a chance that your determination to succeed makes you almost aggressive. You made up your mind and you are going to stop at nothing. When you're like this, it's absolutely pointless for anybody to trying to talk to you because you're not going to listen. You need to work things out on your own and all the, the others can do is to step aside and leave you to it. If you're in a relationship, maybe you made enough compromises and now you feel the time has come that you want to do something that you want. If you prevail in getting your way and you stay strong, it could make you more confident but if you're too aggressive, you could put your relationship at risk. Take charge if you're struggling in your relationship, if you feel that things can't continue the way they are, even if it's not easy. We all have two sides, the dark or negative side in us, which throws caution into the wind and makes us become reckless. We can see that here by the black and white sphinx in the card. The white is the positive side in us, and the black is the negative side. Now, we often feel torn between the two sides. So the message here is to steer your determination and willpower into something more positive. Use that drive that you have at the moment to inspire and motivate other people. Share your excitement. They're probably going to come forward and offer new ideas or point out any flaws in your plan that you haven't thought about before. If you listen to what they say, you never know. You may discover something that you've overlooked. 
Just see this sign, uh, this card, as a sign of encouragement to channel your inner power. You learn from experience that when you act on something and it aligns with your values and goals, that things are going to work out well. But if you follow an idea and just move ahead, or you sit around in the hope that things are going to work in your favor, things are going to go belly up. Don't doubt yourself or your abilities. This card is telling you that you will achieve your goals when you apply the discipline, commitment and willpower. When it comes to your finances, budget with your goal in mind. Even if it means that you may have to sacrifice a few luxuries now, it's probably going to pay off later. Stay true to yourself and roll up your sleeves and stay focused. Don't be tempted to use shortcuts or let others manipulate you. Stay on the course, no matter what. If you want to get that promotion or a different position at work, then say what it is that you want. Don't put things off. Get the job done, no matter what. There will be challenges and obstacles that you need to tackle, and those situations will no doubt try and test you. It could be that others who are envious of you try to manipulate you. It could be that they offer you something if you stray away from your path. They might even try to distract you and drag you down so that they can jump on the bandwagon and take over when the opportunity comes. Don't allow others to push you around. You need to set your boundaries. Now more than ever do you need to demonstrate your strength, your willpower, to stay focused and use your intuition. If you remain steadfast, these ob obstacles often disappear much easier than if you stop and allow yourself to be pulled in a different direction, only to realize later that you should have carried on with your original plan. So assert yourself, be courageous, be bold and precise in expressing yourself. Don't try and cut corners. See whatever comes your way as a test of your strength and conviction. Keep going and victory will be within reach. Just remember that this situation is more prominent and has a longer effect because the chariot belongs to the major arcana. So let's have a look at the second card, Kansas. It's the Ten of Swords reversed. Well, the Ten of Swords reversed means that you continue to fight for something or for somebody, but you're fighting a lost battle. You know that failure is inevitable this could be a change of, of some sort or the end of a relationship. You're hanging on or keep, or keep on fighting because you are just not ready or willing to face what is happening. Maybe your company is undergoing a reorganization and you have to change departments or a project has been taken away from you. It could be in your personal relationship um, that things are on the rocks. And even though you know it's best to separate or even though just to have a break from each other, you keep holding on. On the other side, this card could also mean that you still hang on to an old situation that ended badly. It could be something from as far back as your childhood. When we are deeply hurt or trust, treated unjustly, we often bury these wounds so well that we don't even realize that they're still here. They are buried in our subconscious. And when we come across a similar, a similar situation, which could be years later sometimes, something is pulling a trigger and all these old feelings will raise their ugly head again. We react the same way. We don't know why we all of a sudden feel hurt or that we become angry. But these are all the old emotions that are coming up. They're hidden in our subconscious mind and something is just triggering it, and which makes us react in a certain way, even if we don't set out to, to do that. Basically, this card is asking you to deal with those demons once and for all. Make peace with them, put them to rest for good. It can be difficult to readdress these issues, and you may need professional help, but it's the only way to release yourself of this pain and to let it go. If you don't deal with these issues, the, and the more you resist them, the harder it's going to be and the longer it's going to drag on. Now is the time to let go, to rip off that band-aid, even if it hurts, and just start all over. You need to remember, everything happens for a reason. 
You may be trying to analyze things and look for reasons. You could be asking yourself, why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? You're wasting your time. Even if you find a reason, you know that you can't change anything. So the best thing to do is to accept it and move on. Make peace with the situation. It simply wasn't meant to be. Don't mourn after what you lost because you actually haven't lost anything. To the contrary, you have learned a lesson. It allowed you to grow as a person and it opens the door for new opportunities that are much better for you in the long run. You never know what the universe has in store for you. So this card asks you to reevaluate your circumstances and to let go of any aspect of your life that no longer serves you. Don't dwell on things or allow old hurt to raise its ugly head. It's important to free yourself of those things that happened and start to reclaim your life again, to reinvent yourself and move on in a new direction. Take this card as a positive sign that the pain and sadness you felt is ending. When you look at this card upside down, the swords in the man's back seems to be falling out. The pain is released. This is symbolic for you releasing any hurt and pain of the past. It's a time to clean the canvas and paint a new, brighter, and more beautiful picture of your life. Let's see if there's anything more coming up. about this card, about the situation. It says that prayer will help the situation. Now, if you're not religious, it doesn't have to be prayer because meditation also is a form of prayer. Um, so it basically says, take some time, think about the situation, look at it from all aspects and then you might find it easier. You need to also be open to see your part, your involvement in this situation. What part did I contribute in order for things to get that way so that you're not going to make those, those um, mistakes in the future again? Hmm. Portal. This card is basically saying, telling you there's doors opening, you decide. There are rewards. This is a wild card. So whatever you whatever you want to be or whatever you whatever you expect, there are new doors opening to you. And again, answer prayer. So again, it's just emphasizing um, meditate or pray on the situation to try and get over this as, as fast as you can. Um, this is actually really nice because they're all sinking totally. So let's have a look at the last card. This is a really, really great card. You're so close to overcoming the struggles of the reverse Ten of Swords. And now you have the freedom and the space to move forward with your plans again. This card shows eight wands with spurting growth rapidly propelled through the air. They're ready to plant themselves on fertile land. So this could mean that you will be flying on frequent short business trips, that you have several short breaks, weekend breaks or something like that, or that you have an action-filled social schedule. You have made up your mind what it is you want and you're extremely excited. With your energy levels in overdrive, you have a razor sharp mind, a laser focus, and you find it really, really hard to sit still. You're raring to go like a race car at the start, ready for action. This high energy is what propels you, you forward to fly forward towards your goal. If you're single, you may find yourself swept off your feet in a whirlwind romance, or you and your partner decide to take things further very quickly. It could be that you decide to get married after being together for a long time or even after you've only been together for a short while or that you get engaged, that you move in together, that you decide to start a family. So things are, are, are happening really, really fast. It could also mean that you have an, a sudden epiphany 
which opens your mind and lets you see things crystal clear. You want to take immediate action and change your life. Prepare yourself for things to become extremely busy. You may have to juggle multiple tasks all at the same time, but that's fine. You're enthusiastic and you're on a roll as long as you go with the flow. This flow is actually moving extremely fast. It could be that a new job is offered to you out of the blue and you have to decide quickly. It could be that you're looking for a new house or for a new apartment and something is coming up and you need to decide on the spot. Or it could also be that you have to streamline your work so that you become more fast and efficient. This card is actually telling you, strike when the iron is hot. Use this energy in a positive way. Keep your eyes focused on a single goal and give it everything you have. And by everything, I mean use all your resources, use your body, your mind and your soul and make the most of this momentum so that you can manifest your goals and dreams. If you remove all the distractions and devote yourself completely to the task at hand, you can accomplish an awful lot in a short time. It could mean that you finish a project at work or at home in record time so that you're free to start something else. You are bursting with ideas and you have the energy to match. There's just no stopping you. A few words of caution though. Don't start new things or projects randomly and finish one thing before you start the next. Make sure that whatever you, you take on is on par with your goals and only put your energy or invest in things that you know will give you a return. Talking about high energy, your adrenaline levels will be sky high, so don't risk your health by drinking too much coffee or energy drinks or smoke too much, even if they are a quick pickup. So whether it's about your personal, your work or your love life, dear Cancer, you can look forward to an action-filled, transformative and positive month in September. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this reading resonates with you and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. See you soon for more celestial wisdom.